make sure your content funnel integrates well with your conversion funnel. Too many marketers obsess about conversion funnels. Too many marketers just focus all their firepower on their conversion pages. I really can't say I blame them because these are your bread and butter pages. These pages determine whether you're going to make $1,000 a month, $100 a month, or $100,000 a month. This is where the magic happens, I understand that. But the problem is these pages don't exist in a vacuum. They're part of a larger context that ultimately resolve around your brand. And if you're so short-sighted that you can only see bits and pieces of the overall picture, then you only have yourself to blame if you're not making as much money as you would have hoped. This is pretty much the reason why a lot of online marketers can't, for the life of them, make the thousands of dollars that other people are making. It's not because they're dumb. It's because they're focusing on the wrong things. You need a tight fit between your info pages and conversion pages. You have to make sure that you use calls to action to get people to where you need them to go. Unfortunately, when marketers set up K and L pages, they skip the T pages. This is an often fatal mistake. If somebody's making $5,000 a month from their online store and they committed this error, you can safely bet that that person's actual unrealized income is $50,000 a month. A lot is lost in translation because they skipped a very vital part of the overall sales conversion content and sales conversion process. These are not linked up properly. Think about the plumbing in your home. If you have a faulty pipe, then regardless of how much water comes through your home, by the time it gets to the faucet, you're just going to have to settle for a dribble. Do you see how this works? The same applies to sales. Don't neglect your T pages. T pages stands for trust pages. These are the pages where people go from liking a particular category of solutions or even collection of products you're pushing to trusting a specific product or service solution. The most common form of T-Page is an individual product review page. At the end of the day, once the prospect has gone from K-Page to the L-Page, they basically have a very good idea of what's out there and they're ready to decide. Now, they're basically properly educated. Your T-Page then should get straight to the point. It should basically just say, okay, these are the reasons why you should trust this particular product. Please understand that whatever you're talking about on the T page must relate to what went on before at the L page. So if the L page convinced the reader that the hallmarks of a superior product is one, two, three, your T page better mention one, two, three. Besides individual product review pages, another common form of a T or trust page are the product description pages on e-commerce sites. This is when people go to an online catalog and they click on the product link and then they see the product described. That is a T-page. The anatomy of successful T-pages. Successful T-pages really are psychological in nature. You must remember that people are buying products for benefits. They couldn't care less about features. Maybe you're selling a washing machine and it has five modes. It only takes up 10 kilowatt hours or whatnot. Consumers couldn't care less about features. They do care about benefits. Understand the difference. The difference between features and benefits. Features are technical in nature. They're about screen size, screen brightness, certain new technology. Benefits, on the other hand, are psychological in nature. If somebody's buying a washing machine, they're looking to save time. They're looking for more control over their life. They're looking for more time with their loved ones. So, how are you going to repackage a time-saving feature it has a nice fancy name into terms that your end buyer would appreciate. So, you talk about spending more time with your children. You talk about him being able to do more with less money and living life to the fullest. This is how benefits work because benefits ultimately are personal in nature. Remember, most American consumers couldn't care less about the features or the jargon that are on your sales pages. They care about what's important to them. Remember, just as you ask yourself, what's in it for me? Other people ask themselves that question as well. It is all personal. So you have to phrase whatever benefits that your product brings to the table in those terms. The essence of effective key pages are calls to action. They have different forms, but the key to them is emotional impact. When crafting a CTA, call to action, emotionally tie the reader to the benefit they will get if they buy the product or service. The different types of calls to action call to action using emotional triggers. Example, take your life to the next level by saving at least 80% on your next vacation. Click here. 
calls to action involving authority. Example, nine out of 10 plastic surgeons swear by this product. Call to action using social proof. Example, click here to get the number one rated laptop solution for insurance professionals. The key to calls to action is to get away from just saying click here or order now. When you do that, you waste momentum. Instead, amplify the sense of need in the mind of your prospect. Please understand that once they get to a page where there's a call to action, your content pages or your conversion pages have already done most of the heavy lifting. Don't waste it by just saying order now. Plug into some sort of emotional urgency.